With how hot it's been getting, everyone is excited to get back into the water, out to the beach, out to the swimming pools. But swimming instructors are worried that being that swimming lessons were basically on hold for the last year or so, there are a lot of kids out there that might not be prepared to get back out into the water. We haven't been able to do swim lessons since March of 2020. At the Minneapolis Park and Recreation Board, it's been a year without swimming lessons. The pandemic initially shut us all down. But aquatics manager Sarah Chillo says they're starting up again on June 22nd with more than 1,200 lesson spots available this summer and they're filling up fast. People want to get back in the water. They want their kids to have these skills so that they can be safe. But finding enough instructors has been a challenge this summer. At the Y of the North, they're looking to hire 132 instructors to meet the demand. Parents are very worried. They're looking even for private lessons. They'll do whatever they can. Shannon Kinsler says they continue to add lesson spots, but they're still not even close to where they were before the pandemic started. We're continuing to hire people. We're continuing to train people, but our limiting factor is our instructors. The YWCA in Minneapolis is also looking for instructors. Starting this week, they're bumping up the starting wage to $16.25 an hour. Their lessons are also filling up fast. That's why instructors are encouraging parents to keep a close eye on their kids this summer. We have some concerns that maybe this summer is going to start off a little scary. While a lot of the lessons are filling up, there are still some slots available and swimming instructors tell me that as they're able to add more teachers, more instructors, they are going to add even more classes as the summer progresses. So if you're a parent that wants to get your kid into swimming lessons this summer, you should check again and keep checking back until you find a slot that's available. Gordon Severson, Carol 11 News.